Hey, and welcome back to another Tech Byte Tuesday. Today is going to be a quick little tip that Google put in about a year ago that I know that a lot of people use on a daily basis, and it can be a real time saver. Uh, that doesn't seem like it is, but once you start using it, you'll wonder how you ever lived without it. So they have what's called their .new shortcuts. And basically the way that that works is it allows you to type a shortcut up here into the address bar that will open up a new blank version of many different types of files. So if I'm at the home page and I know that I need to start a Google Doc, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to docs.new. And what it does is you can see that it brings open a brand new blank Google Doc. So no more going to Google Drive, no more doing you know all of the different ways that you can get there so a little bit quicker and this works for things like sheets dot new and even slides dot new don't make fun of my typing um, this works for forms dot new so it does work for a ton of the different Google tools um, even things like deck.new will is another way to bring you to a new slide deck. And they actually just added one and it's called jam.new. And that obviously is going to bring you up to a new jam board, an untitled jam. Now, as of last year, they started adding on some new um, blank or sort of third party ones. So things like canva.new is a new shortcut and it brings you to a brand new blank canvas screen. Um, if you use, um, you know, things like Spotify, the music service, there's a shortcut now called playlist.new. And what it does, it's going to give you the option to open up and start a new Spotify. If you're a Quizlet fan, you can go to quizlet.new and it'll bring you right to a new study set for Quizlet. And obviously it's adding me to sign in, but there are a ton of these new dot, what they call the dot new. Uh, types of shortcuts that will allow you to, you know, quickly create a, a blank uh, Google document and now even third party documents. So um, take a look at the big list. You can go over to and this is it's called what's dot new or you can go to SESD learn at home or take a look at the PDF that's uh, enclosed here for the link and for some of the lists. Uh, and hopefully this helps you out. Thanks.